Hey world, it's been when to come back to another video. Fam, I want to come back to this video because I wanted to, and basically, like I said, I got this information here, this food for thought. I got to get mad props to my big bro G because he's always been an advocate of keeping paper on your person or at your crib. And what I mean by that, guys, is you know, when I in the garden for so long and telling the family members about paying yourself first, yes, we've been saying it in reference to making sure your assets are stacking up and you're putting yourself in a situation so you can gain financial worth or financial wealth, right? Increase it. Because remember, it's a ridiculous when the median income for Afro melanated families is the lowest out of all the other ethnicities. That's, a, that's crazy when you think about it. You know, consider how long we've been here. And the fact that you have other ethnicities that can come to this country and, median, and their uh, net median uh, wealth is way higher than ours. You got to ask yourself, what's up with that? And how does that happen? Well, com common sense tells you that it's systemic. Just look at the numbers. The number of Afro melanated people get accepted for home loans, student loans, uh, get accepted for lines of credit at banks. There's a huge disparity in those numbers, right? And so what I want to talk about today is how, you know, I think it's imperative as well that we keep cash on our person. You know, have us a safe at home. You know, two, three, four thousand dollars, family. Because, and the reason why I say that because if you don't really understand what happened in March. 2020, while they were shutting down the country and, and coronavirus this, coronavirus that, literally a lot of people knew that the Federal Reserve just let the banks not have to have 10% of what they would call reserves. And if you don't know, if I talked about this in the garden a while ago, how banks, you know, uh, it was mandatory that they take 10% of, of, of reserves or cash in the banks and it was called fractional reserve every bank had to keep at least 10 percent of all deposits in their banks you can't just lend all the money out right well march 2020 jerome powell the uh, chairman of the federal reserve bank which is the central bank of the united states just let the banks have to have zero fractional reserve or zero reserves so if you have ten thousand dollars and you go deposit it in the bank that day, they can lend that whole $10,000 out. They don't have to have the reserves in the bank. Now, you would think that, you know what, they're going to have to have that. You know, they're going to have to keep some reserves because of people with withdrawals and whatnot. Yes. But I don't know if you guys have had this problem I've had in the last couple of, of weeks where my ATM card has been declined. And they've been telling me that it's because of my own protection. But if I have not lost my ATM card, why are you guys shutting down my ATM card when I'm trying to get deposits, when I'm trying to make withdrawals? You want me to tell you why? Because they don't have to have your money in the bank. And at 4 o'clock, they may have loaned out all your money. So the $10,000, let's, let's look at the, think about this for a minute, family. The $10,000 that you just deposited in your bank, Right? They can loan out that whole $10,000 to 10 people and give 10 people $1,000 loans. They can give 10 people a $1,000 loan plus interest, mind you. So they're making all this money off of your money, off your deposits, but then only giving you 0.03% or 0.01%, little of nothing of interest. And now they don't even have to have your money in the bank. So family. Let's flip the script a little bit. Not only should you pay yourself first, you need to keep some of that cash on your person when they try this type of situation. Because remember, they're going to probably try to shut this government down again. I mean, shut the nation down again. Walmart already starting to uh, limit the number of people in their stores. Okay? They're going to do the same thing. Now, think about this for a minute, family. If you shut down the country last year, or not this past year, in March and February and April, you instituted a mandatory mask. You instituted social distancing. 
if that didn't work the first time, what make you think it's going to work the second time? So you see how we have to be really, really crazy to fall for this again. Or the government is so presumptuous and so arrogant that they know we're going to do it again. Family, keep you some cash on your person. Because when they shut this system down, and I don't know if you know this, when it comes to money, 96.7% of all money is digitized. It's only like 37 3.3% of money that's in cash and coins. And it may be lower now because remember, they just said they had a coin shortage. So that's even less tangible money in circulation. 95, 97% of all money is digitized. So guess what? They own your money. And so to have access to your money, you have to have a card. So imagine what's going to happen in the next five to 10 years, fam. I told you about blockchain, about digital currency, about cryptocurrency. Not by accident. So as long as you have some cash on your person, you'll be safe. You'll be cool. But if you don't have any money on your person and you're only relying on, a, on an ATM card or a credit card, they can easily just say, hey, your, your card is declined. You call them, oh, well, it's for uh, your own personal protection fraud alert. And you have your card on your person. What are you talking about? Those that institute fraud alerts are those that are frauding us. Pay yourself first, family. Keep some money on your person. Wow. And stay conscious. Thank you, family, for listening to this food for thought. Um, I do want to, before I leave out of here, I want to talk about health savings account. Guys, if you're place of employment doesn't offer a health savings account. Guys, there are other entities out there that offer those health savings accounts. Make sure it's a reputable uh, institution. Don't just go to the first one. Do your research, guys. Just like they rate credit, uh, credit uh, like they rate our credit, they also rate all these other uh, institutions that provide these services for us. And so if your job don't offer a health savings account, there are other entities that offer health savings account, but do your research on them and make sure it's viable because it's a definite situation where you can take advantage of, and that's $2,500 of a tax deduction. Okay. All right, family. In the meantime, between time, any more signs, sorry to bring you joy and being with us out of 5,000.